Hello, Todd Dunn here on February 19, 2018. This video is a short video in which I hope to clear up a common misconception about MPPT charge controllers. That misconception has to do with the charge controller ratings. Charge controllers are generally rated in terms of amps. So you can buy a 30 amp MPPT controller or a 30 amp PWM controller. But there's quite a significant difference between the two. And basically it's a function of how the controllers operate. With the PWM controller, the battery and the solar panel are directly connected when the controller is working so that the solar panel voltage is drawn down to the battery voltage and the solar panel amperage is transferred directly to the battery. So if you have a solar panel that puts out 8 amps, you can connect it to a PWM controller with a 10 amp rating and be fine. But that isn't necessarily the case with an MPPT controller. And I'm going to try to explain why in this video. Basically, the reason is because of the way the MPPT controller works. The core of an MPPT controller is a little electronic component called a DC to DC converter. And what a DC to DC converter does is it takes the solar panel voltage and amperage and transforms or converts the voltage to the desired charging voltage and in the process it also adjusts the amperage so that the full power coming from the solar panel goes to the battery. Now let's take a look at a little bit of arithmetic and a simple equation that explains how this works. Here's the equation it's very simple. It's VP times AP equals VC times AC, where VP is the voltage that the solar panel is operating at, AP is the amperage that the solar panel is putting out, VC is the charging voltage that the controller is sending to the battery, and AC is the charging amperage. You'll notice that these two products are equal, and that's the critical point. So if I change one number, for example, if I change VC to be lower than VP, then because of the equality, AC will have to go up to keep the product of VC and AC equal to the product of VP and AP. So basically, what it does is the DC to DC converter decouples charging voltages and amperages from the solar panel voltage and amperage. So they can operate more or less independently, but at the same power. Now this may not be very clear, so I'm going to walk you through a few examples and talk about what this means in terms of picking a charge controller. Here's the first example. We've got an MPPT controller with a single 260 watt nominal 24 volt panel connected to it. That 260 watt panel has an operating voltage of 31 volts and an operating amperage of 8.39 amps. So in full sun, when it's putting out its maximum power, the panel will be at 31 volts and 8.39 amps. So, let's we connect that up to our MPPT controller with a 12 volt battery and turn on the system. In the case of a 12 volt battery, the bulk charging voltage is probably going to be about 14.4 volts. So VC is equal to 14.4. The panel voltage will be 31 volts, so VP is 31, and the panel amperage is 8.39 amps. The unknown in the equation now is the charging amperage. If I plug the numbers in, I get 
31 times 8.39 is equal to 14.4 times AC, the charging amperage. That means that if I take 31 volts times 8.39 amps and divide it by 14.4 volts, just do a little basic algebra, I'll get the charging amperage. When I do the arithmetic, the number I get is 18.08 amps. So if I have a 260 watt panel connected up to my charge controller and to my battery, although the panel is only putting out a little over 8 amps, the charging amperage is 18 amps. Now MPPT charge controllers are rated in terms of their charging amperage. So in order to run this panel, you would need a 20 amp controller, even though the panel is only rated for 8.4 amps approximately. Okay, let's move on to the second example. In this example, I have three 260 watt panels wired together in series. These panels individually have an operating voltage of 31 volts and the operating amperage of 8.39 amps. But when they're in series, the amperage doesn't change, but the voltage becomes the sum of the three panel voltages. So 31 plus 31 plus 31 equals 93 volts. So this system is going to operate at 93 volts VP and 8.39 amps VA. If we are hooking this up to a 12 volt battery with a charging voltage of 14.4 volts, then we can calculate the charging amperage as 93 times 8.39 divided by 14.4, which works out to be 54.18 amps. So if I'm going to run three 260 watt panels in series connected to this controller, I'm going to need at least a 60 amp controller. Even though the amperage going into the controller from the panels is only 8.4 amps. That's because of the way the DC to DC converter converts the voltage and amps coming in into voltage and amps going down. Okay, one more example. My third example is also three 260 watt panels connected in series. So they're operating at a voltage of 93 volts in series and putting out 8.39 amps. But now the controller is hooked up to a 24 volt battery system, which might be two 12 volt batteries wired in series. So I've got a 24 volt battery system the charging voltage is going to be 28.8 volts. So if I take 93 volts VP times 8.39 amps VA and divide that by 28.8 volts VC, charging voltage, I get my charging amperage out. And that number is 27.09 amps. So if I have my three 260 watt panels in series connected to the controller and charging a 24 volt battery system, I'm only going to get 27 amps charging amperage, so I only need a 30 amp controller. Basically what it comes down to is that if you have a 12 volt battery system, you're going to get, have a certain amount of solar panel wattage that you can use and MPPT controllers will tell you what the maximum wattage is for a 12 volt battery system. If you have a 24 volt battery system, you'll be able to hook twice as much solar panel wattage up to, the, to the, a given controller as you can with 12 volt batteries. So, the misconception that some people have is that the 24 volts refers to panel voltage. And so that if you have 24 volt panels, you can add double the wattage. Well, that's exactly wrong. 12 and 24 volts refers to battery voltage. And 
If you have a 12 volt battery system, you're going to have one solar panel wattage that you can connect to the controller. And if you have a 24 volt battery system, the same controller will support twice as much wattage as it would with a 12 volt. Okay, I hope I've cleared this smite misconception up and hopefully it will help you in picking an MPPT charge controller for your solar panel array. Thanks for watching. If this video was a good video from your point of view, give me a thumbs up. Please comment. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them promptly. And please also subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.